Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 61 to whichever episode I could stop at. Um, it's currently 6 a.m. and <laughs> yeah, my baby is asleep right now. Normally he sleeps till maybe 8-ish, so let's see. I'm probably gonna try to read at least one or maybe two or three episodes per video. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh. I asked the Grand Duke to show me the ledger because I kept asking myself, what if? What if my stepmother bought the blood in advance? I made them, I made them stay in an annex to contain her and Reina, but I was afraid my uncle might be in danger just in case. But... How am I supposed to win? All this is nothing without the proof. Huh? The, the ledger. Can't we just use that as proof? She'd definitely be punished if the ledger shows cells of the blood becomes evidence. They also caught the dealer, so we even have a witness. However... We'll have to explain the symptoms and the source of the poison. That would mean this family. Uh, but people died. This family should take responsibility for that at the very least, should they not? Besides, it's not like this family is of low status. Even if this dead damages their reputation. That's none of my concern. Uh-oh. She's going down a very dark path right now, guys. Like, uh, Why should I worry about them? What about my father and all those people who died? Oh, selfie. Um, I haven't seen you for days. I did hear you're rather occupied, but I was worried about you. I brought some snacks, but... Uh, uh, what's wrong? Did something happen? Mother? Then, are you saying that you will be his mother? Yes. After all, why not? I feel like because her seeing Selfie right at this moment, she kind of snapped back. You know, she snapped back to reality. But, or she feels guilty that she's about to do something pretty bad to this family that she quote unquote married into. M Mother? My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 61. <gasps> Look, as Lady wrote this. Oh. I can read it too. Mm? She's not smiling. If the ledger reveals the secret of the curse, even the Grand Duke's entire family would be exterminated. Then what would happen to these children? I'm sorry. I don't know what to say to you, Parashati. I won't use the ledger as evidence. But we need... Other evidence we can use in the trial. Please, help me. The Countess married an ally. Ally? Hold on, I need to learn how to say that word. Ailing man and raised his daughter for almost 20 years. 
Other workers in the household, including the family doctor, knows how much she devoted herself to the countdown. Please refer to the pet petition of the servants that we provided. We must take pity on this remarkable woman. She only did the best she could. Why would you accuse her of murder? And on what grounds? I am rather doubtful about the motive here. Perhaps to keep the countess in check? Uh. The prosecution, in cooperation with the Imperial Knighthood and Guards, carried out an investigation by questioning workers and merchants in the Countdom. It was confirmed by multiple witnesses that the Countess frequented a per certain pharmacy. But I'm curious, why would she go there herself when she could get the medicine from you? Certainly, I can get them for her, but I always had to stay in the house. The Countess was simply being generous to lessen my burden. And I was the one who introduced the pharmacy to her. No one can ever imagine how challenging it is to look after a patient. I'm sure the Countess also needed to get some fresh air. She should never be criticized for stepping outside momentarily. Well, let's say we understand why the doctor had to send a Countess on an errand to buy drugs without any servants escorting her. Then I presume you know which drugs the Countess offered to the Count. Is that correct? Why, well, yes. Then you must have prescribed this drug as well, correct? Were you aware that the drug is highly addictive? Huh. I did prescribe this drug, yes. But it won't cause any problems if it's properly used. It only works as a painkiller for someone who is in severe pain. This is a list of drugs the Countess purchased from the pharmacy she frequented. The Countess has purchased drugs as prescribed by the doctor since some years ago. But the problem is she bought too many of them and too frequently for how the doctor prescribed. Huh? And the painkiller she recently purchased was, weren't even prescribed by the doctor. Plus, the pharmacist testified that she demanded a drug that acts as an even stronger painkiller. <gasps> Objection! There's no proof that she used a drug on the count. Upon clo closer inspection, the painkiller she newly bought has ingredients that induce a certain measure of sleep. Anyone in the house would know that the count had been sleeping longer and longer. <laughs> Please refer to the bills of the purchase and worker statement. We can tell from these documents that the Count Zahard had consumed more drugs than were prescribed. Narcotics, painkillers, and even sleep-inducing drugs were given to the Count, but he was a patient ailing from a heart disease. He was not a regular, healthy person. So how could you say that this is not a problem? It was obviously a meticulously planned crime. It was so subtle that even the family doctor thought the Count was merely ill. <gasps> oh. So I ask, I'd like to ask the witness, can these drugs not be harmful? Can you be absolutely certain that they cause no harm to a person's life? Uh, they may be harmful. Oh, oh, she's shaking. Oh, ho, ho. this is getting so intense. Episode 62. Are you saying the drugs are what killed him? That I poisoned him? I didn't use any medication that would be harmful. There won't be any evidence. Uh. Huh? But even so, she only gave him medicine to relieve him of his pain. You can't accuse her of murder just because of some painkillers. Are you admitting that she deliberately drugged the Count? The Count had frequent seizures. 
but only that day did he not survive that night. The servants is to blame. He didn't hear the bell ring because he had fallen asleep. As I already mentioned, the Count's servant did admit that he couldn't properly see the situation due to his exhaustion. However, you'd ask, have to ask the Countess as to why he had to be in such a state in the first place. The whole day, he was working on a task that several well-built servants would not be able to complete. The one who ordered it was none other than the Countess. The council will announce the sentence. The, de wait, the defendant shall hereby be restricted from all forms of contact with the Zahart family. The council shall also strip her of her last name of Zahart. Additionally, the council sentences the defendant to 35 years of hard labor in a convent. Convent. Oh, man. This doesn't make any sense. Shasha, wait. Huh? I, I, I'm sorry if we did something wrong to you. I apologize for everything. But you should know better. Our mom didn't kill dad. 35 years for some observed evidence? Do you want her to die there? W what about me? I get why you did that to Shiv. But if you don't love him, sure, you could do that. But we're family. How could you do this to us? It is because of the lawsuit over the inheritance. This is all a misunderstanding. I can explain. Please go back and tell them that mom is innocent. They'll ignore me, but they you're the Grand Duchess. They'll listen to you. Shasha! I have no one left by my side. No one. I don't know. Okay, so like, I don't know. They're really great actresses, to be very honest. Like, they could, the way that she cried and everything, and she just like looks so innocent. Like, it makes you, me as a reader, like, question, like, did they really do this? Or did they not? Like, I can't tell. It must be hard. Like, she grew up with these people, you know, that stepmother raised her and she grew up with a sister. Please don't look at me like that. I knew this would happen. Please find out who is in charge of the covenant she's assigned to. All right. I think I know who's in charge, but I shouldn't let my guard down and think she'll actually pay for her crime. Anyway, I managed to get her banished from the countdom. This should do for now. We tidied up the room a little more while you were away. We prepared the rather abruptly, rather ab abruptly. We're sorry for the inconvenience, dear Grace. Thank you. Then please get a good rest. I'll ask the servant to bring you your meal. <sighs> Ever since I found out the truth, I've been using the room near my office. I don't feel comfortable looking at his face. The moment mother made up her mind, dad would have lost his life either way. Even without the Lapillian's blood, if she had used more of the painkillers we presented as our evidence, that have been enough to kill him. So I can't blame him for not properly managing all the people who had their blood. I understand it, but still. Parishati, you can leave the residence if you want. The contract and the terms for the cooperation, marriage, and matters related to the curse no longer apply to you. But as for your protection and things that you need to be independent, 
I hope you allow me to help. I feel like he actually starting to like fall for her and he will do everything to protect her. But her, obviously we can tell that she's not there at all to him, towards him. Just leave me be so I can resent you. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I said you should be completely honest with me. Did I not? It was evidence we could easily have addressed. Did I tell you the Imperial Knighthood was under pressure of the Grand Dukedom? They were searching all the pharmacies you visited. <laughs> I didn't think that would be a problem. She's right. Who kills a person with painkillers? <sighs> so... Oh, she got smacked. Preparing thoroughly was enough to win. The prosecutor is a clever one. He'll never let go of the evidence like this. You brought this upon yourself. T Why on earth did her highness introduce me to someone like that? Uh, your highness. Well... The lawyer seems rather upset. What now? Sasha seems upset about the lawsuits over the inheritance, but we did it because you told us to. Well, how else would you pay me back? I'm telling you, Mom didn't kill Dad. Yes, you do seem to mean it. But if I wonder if your mother feels the same way, you... You used this to kill your husband, didn't you? Oh, oh. <gasps> uh, what? All right, guys, I'm going to stop here just to be safe. But two episodes on this one. Oh, my gosh. So they, she did do it. And her daughter didn't realize it. <gasps> Oh, the mom's face went pale. She just like, oh, you caught me, you know? Okay, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!